Hello friends, this is the another lecture of job sequency. In today's lecture, we will study another method, n jobs and three machine. In this particular method, for, for this type of problem, there are no such method exists by which we can find directly the solution. So for this, we can use the previous method that is n job and two machine method. That is, we have to convert this particular problem where three machine exists into the two machines problem and this is possible only when minimum time of first machine is greater than equals to maximum time of B and minimum time of C is greater than equals to maximum time of B. If these phenomena exist then we can convert three machines into two machines. And this conversion is only to make sequence. Condition exists. That is, we can use the converted matrix only to form job sequencing. Right? And, uh, which can be found by G1 is equals to A plus B and G2 is equals to B plus C. When we make this, then after that, we make job sequence and after that we have to find the minimum elapsed time and the condition remains each job is performed in the in the same order first m1 then m2 then m3 so for further clarification we are moving on a problem where you can betterly understand the method. So uh, this is the first question. There are five jobs, each of which must go through machine A, B and C. So jobs are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 and these are A, B, C are the machine. So as I said earlier, we have to convert three jobs, three machines into two machines. But to convert them, we first, first we have to check the conditions state before uh, state as earlier that is minimum time of a is greater than equals to maximum time of b what is the minimum time of a 6 minimum a is equals to 6 and maximum B is also 6 and the second condition is minimum time of C is also greater than equals to maximum time of B. So minimum time of C is 4. So from here both conditions are fulfilled. both conditions fulfilled. So, we can convert three machines into two machines. And how to convert? G is equals to A plus B, H is equals to B plus C. So, job G and H 1 2 3 4 and 5 so G is A plus B H is B plus C so A plus B 8 plus 5 13 10 plus 6 16 6 plus 2 8 7, 3, 10, 11, 4, 15. H is B plus C, so 5, 4, 9, 6, 9, 15, 2, 8, 10, 3, 6, 9, 4, 5, 9. Now we have to make a job sequencing. What? We have to make job sequencing. And for this, M1 
n1 is for g and this is for h so 1 2 3 4 5 so the process to find job sequencing remains as it is what is the minimum elapsed time minimum elapsed time is 9 and this is at the three places for the edge machine Ni minimum the minimum elapsed time is 8 and 8 is for the first machine and for the third job so we can write 3 here now this is completed now the next minimum time is 9 and 9 is at the three places and all three places are for the second machine so we have to find the minimum difference so the difference is 4 here the difference is 1 here the difference is 6 so first we shall write 4 then 1 then 5 so all three are completed and only 2 is remaining so we can write 2 is here so the required job sequencing is 3 2 5 1 4 now to convert 3 machine into 2 machine is completed as soon as we find the job sequence then the motive to uh, convert 3 job, uh, three machine into 2 machine is convert, is completed now no need of no need of this particular matrix now we will proceed with this particular matrix to find the minimum elapsed time so this is the table for uh, to find the total elapsed time this is the job sequence which we, have, uh, we find so a b c are the three machine and we have to process as it as earlier so first machine will start from zero for the job sequence three for the third job a machine will take six hours so this will complete at six so another job will start at, after six hours and the for this it will take 10 hours so 16 same as 16 five, uh, 11 hours for 5 so 16 plus 11 that is 27 next job will start at 27 hours and it takes 8 hours so 27 plus 8 35 and the last job will start from 35 and it, it will take 7 hours so 35 and 7 that is 42 so this is the total elapsed time for machine A that is 42 hours now for the B machine, B machine will start from 6 hours and it will take 2 hours to complete this job. So it will complete it, uh, the work at 8 hours. So but next job is not ready till 16 hours so it will be in the rest. So it will start after 16 hours and it will take 6 hours. So 16, 16 and 6 that is 22. Again the same condition exists. So it will start from 27 hours and it will take 4 hours. So 27 plus 4 that is 31. The same condition will exist. This is this completed its work at 31 hours, but the next job is not ready until 35 hours. So it will start from 35 hours and first job will take 5 hours. So 35 plus 5 that is 40 hours. Again the same condition exists. So it will start from 42 hours and it will take 3 hours. So 42 and 3. 45. So this is the idle time for the uh, B. Uh, this is the total time to pro to complete the process A and B. That is 45 hours. Now we have to move on to the C machine. So C machine will start from 8 hours. This job is completed up to the 8 hours on A and B machine. Now C machine will start after 8 hours and it will take 8 hours more. So it will complete the work at 16 hours but next work is not available up to the 22 hours so this work will be available at 22 hours so this will take 9 hours so 22 plus 9 that is 31 hours so tie that is th this machine will not be in the rest at this particular time period so for this it will take 5 hours more so 31 plus 5 that is 36 hours this machine completed its work at 36 hours but next job is not available till 40 hours so this machine will start at 40 hours so and it will take 4 hours so it will complete the work at 44 hours but the next work is not available up to the 45 hours so this machine will start at 45 hours and it will take this 6 hours so 45 and 6 51 so this is the total elapsed time the total elapsed time is 51 hours idle time for c 
he can calculate this c machine i start at 8 so 8 hours firstly it is start at 8 so i did for 8 hours then 16 and 22 uh, the difference is 6 so uh, again i did for 6 hours 31 31 no idle time here 36 and 40 four idle times four hours 44 and 45 that is one hours idle that is the idle time total idle time for the machine c is 8 plus 6 plus 4 plus 1 that is 8 6 14 4 18 1 19 hours and idle time for b machine b machine is starts at 6 hours so 6 plus Uh, 6 yes 6 plus it, it completed his work at 8 but while the next job will start at 16 so 8 hours is uh, here again 22 and 27 that is 5 hours is the difference plus 31 and 35 again 4 hours is the difference 40 and 42 again 2 hours is the difference and total process will take up to 51 hours so until the process completed this machine also is in idle state so 51 minus 45 plus 51 minus 45 that is the complete one is 6. that is 31 hours and the idle time for machine a there is no overlapping or no rest in for this machine this machine completed the work in the 42 hours while the entire work completed in the 51 hours so the idle time for a is equals to 51 minus 42 that is 9 hours so this is the complete solution of two job and three machine problem thank you if you like this video then like and subscribe my channel